Hello there, this is Jeff Hendrickson from Laughing Raven Studio, and I wanted to make this really quick little video to show you something that I've been using for a while. It might be helpful for you. Um, I've found that it saves me a lot of time when I'm doing technical flats uh, and designs. Um, as you can see here, this one, well, maybe you can't see what it is, but this is a backpack. This is a backpack that I'm working on right now, and I thought it'd be uh, something neat to show you really quickly, and I call this, I guess I can call it measuring cubes for lack of a better term. That would be the little pink thing sitting right there because it's certainly not a part of my design. Essentially what I do, I, right now what I have to do is I have to draw a line here where the zipper is going to go underneath and it's got to start two inches out from this. So what could I do? Um, certainly I could use um, guidelines. They're going to be tough, though, because I have to figure out how to measure guidelines. And as you can see, well, actually, you can't see. But I'm not lined up on anything in particular in here. Uh, out of the screen and up on the top a little bit further uh, is where my ruler is coming across. And I'm working in Illustrator here with this. Essentially, um, what you do is you make the cube however you need it. Um, I always keep it in red, some kind of a color off, because all the rest of my lines are in black. This way I know that it's a cube that I can use, my measuring cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my measuring cube in here. Like I said, I know I need to have this thing two inches out, so this is a two-inch wide cube. I'll lay my cube in there, get my line tool, and now I can draw my line from the corner of this up to the top where I need it. And I don't have a specific place for this just yet. I haven't got it measured out, but essentially that's what I need to do with it now because I had the red turned on a while ago. That's still red, so we're going to turn this into a black or approaching a black at any rate. Yep, zero, zero, zero. It's got our black. Need to make the line just a little bit heavier because everything else is as well. So I'm going to make that a three picks line. There we go. Beef the line up just a tiny little bit. Okay. These are reusable as well. Um, let's say, for instance, um, I, I've, I've got another seam. For some reason, there's another seam across here. And I've already taken my measurements from my uh, sample pack and I know that it's going to be four inches down. I just reuse my cube. Just take my cube. Uh, what you can't see out of the screen is that I'm going up to the top and I'm actually setting the measurement. You see there? Now I have a four inch high mark. All I have to do is put it on the top. I know exactly where my next line needs to be. Now, I could, because I've got it set there, I could bring this down now and have myself a guideline so that I do have my four inch line. I can pull this out of the way and now I know whatever it is that I need to do across there. Uh, quick and simple. That's pretty much it. Uh, measuring cubes. Use them. They are a really great tool that, uh, like I said, I've been using for quite a few years now. Uh, they're great for any number of things. I'm sure you can come up with something even better than what I've discovered for them. So uh, take care. Thanks very much for stopping by. Jeff Hendrickson, Laughing Raven Studio. Have a great night.